Hey what's going on guys, Fitz here bringing you another Ghost Recon Breakpoint video. Today we'll take a look at how the battle reward system works and if it's worth your time. So without further ado, let's get into it. The battle rewards are faction missions that reward you with battle points for every mission you complete. Once you accumulate enough battle points, you'll rank up your battle tier and earn rewards for every tier you achieve. This system is divided into episodes and each episode has two acts. Each act lasts about two months. So that's all the time you have to get all the rewards. We are currently on Act 1 as of recording this video and there are 49 battle tiers for this current act. Alright, how do you get battle points? Every day, there is a limit of 400 battle points that you can earn. You get battle points after completing any faction missions. You can do 2 elite missions every day. Elite missions have a skull icon with a dagger through it. These missions are harder or may take longer than the other faction missions, but reward you with the highest battle points. You'll earn 100 battle points for each elite mission you complete. After that, you can do other faction missions that grant you 50 or 15 battle points until you complete the 400 point daily limit. You can also earn battle points for playing Ghost War matches, if that's your thing. Battle points earned from Ghost War PvP depends on your team's performance. So, how do you start doing the faction missions? The first time you log in for the day, head over to Erwan and talk to Mads Schultz to get the first elite mission. Then, head over to South Cape Station on Windy Islands, it's on the bottom of your map, and talk to Harui Ito to get the second elite mission of the day. Once you complete these two elite missions, You'll have 200 battle points and only need to do a few easier faction missions. You can do 4 50 point reward faction missions or the easier 15 point reward missions if the rewards are good. Faction missions reset every day at 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, what are the rewards you get? Every time you rank up your battle tier, you'll earn a reward. It may include blueprints, melee weapons, camo, emotes, gear and weapon paints, vehicles, emblem, costumes like the nomad skin for reaching tier 49, which is the final tier for this act, and battle supplies. Battle supplies have randomized loot. You will not get duplicates and are guaranteed to get all items if you reach each tier before the act is completed. Now, this last part will probably anger some of you but I want to get this info out there anyway. Two weeks after launch, you will be able to purchase a reward booster using ghost coins. And you get ghost coins by spending real money. For that act, if you want to get, gain the rewards more quickly. However, engaged players will always be able to unlock all of the tiers for free by earning enough battle points. Alright, so the real question is, is it really worth your time? Well, it depends on what you're looking for and if you're having fun doing the missions. If you like the rewards and are having fun, maybe you'll like it. Faction missions are a way to keep you playing after you beat all of the main and side missions. What do you think about the battle reward system? Let me know in the comment section. Alright, that's all for the battle reward system. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop a comment below. Click the like button if this video helped you. Make sure to subscribe for more Ghost Recon Breakpoint videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.